Hello and welcome. You're joining me, Jenny Saunders, live in the studio, interviewing Neil Armstrong. Hi, Neil. Hi, Jenny Saunders. Please call me Jenny. Likewise. Um, so, I'm joined here by the first man on the moon to celebrate the launch of his new album, which I am told was written, recorded and played all by himself. Space, not all it's cracked up to be. I wanted it to be elevated. Excuse me. Space, not all it's elevated to be. So you get a nice wordplay, double entendre. No, not, not elevated like space and elevated like it's really good. I don't. But my publicity manager said that was misleading. Right. So, Neil, I'm also fascinated by astrophysics. Of course, I haven't made it out there myself yet. <laughs> um, so, I'd like to ask... Well, that was a question already, but you can ask me another. No, I, I didn't ask you if I could ask a question. Oh. This is an interview. What was it like seeing the Earth from so far away? Were you overwhelmed with a deep sense of meaning or beauty? Profundity, perhaps? Well, the funny thing is, before I went into space, I used to try and imagine all the billions of miles between all the stars and how, compared to the universe, a person is smaller and more insignificant than the tiniest ant swimming in a massive puddle of jam. Which led to severe bouts of depression and significantly factored in the break of my third marriage. But when you're actually out there gazing down at the tiny planet that's home to your entire race, the first man on the moon, you realise there's not actually that much to it. To what? Space. I mean, it's mainly just space. You know. Empty space. Right. Well, I suppose it's not just about that one moment, is it? I mean, that represents the pinnacle of decades of technology, years of training, days of travelling. Well, yeah, but I mean, you can actually get to the moon quite easily. Really? I was under the impression it was quite a difficult task, all the space race and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. That's because originally we miscalculated the size of the moon. We thought it had a circumference of 6,790 miles by which we estimated it was pretty far away. In actual fact its circumference is 8 miles, so it's only about 15 minutes away. You can walk around the whole thing quite comfortably in a couple of hours. Not much to stop and look at on the way, it's mainly just rocks. And the scenery is just Space, so you can probably power walk it in about an hour, hour fifteen, that sort of time scale. Right, you can even make your own rocket fuel at home using a three to one ratio of sodium chloride and diesel. I did not know that. No, not many people do. But can we stop talking about space, please? Will anyone ask me about the space? I'm sick of space. That's why I moved back to Earth, there's no space here at all, it's lovely. I never have any trouble sleeping at night. Now I've got this great knack of going to sleep. I can go to sleep just like that. Guess you could say it's like voluntary narcolepsy. Okay, narcolepsy. Did you mean that? Sorry, it's just the thing with narcolepsy is it's just the same as falling asleep, only it's involuntary. You can't decide when you do it. Yeah, I can. I can just decide when I want to go to sleep. Voluntary narcolepsy. So can we talk about my album now? Okay, sure, Neil. Please. Yes, that's fine. Please, Jenny. Yes, we'll move on. Can I just ask? Can I... What? What? Senior. Look. Well, I think you 
I'm not racist, but I dislike you purely on the basis of your ethnic origin. Just feels like you're not on my side, Jenny. What? No, no, not at all. I, I'm a big fan of, of all your space. I just feel like nobody cares about me. It's all space this, and black holes that. Nobody cares that I've home recorded three concept albums. Two of them aren't even about space. And I did the cover artwork myself. But no, they just want to know about things and being particles and flat matter. You know, I went into NASA the other day just to say hi. And the security guard didn't know who I was. Didn't recognise my face. Because it's all about the astronaut suit. Didn't even know who I was. Just about the external suit. No one gives a damn about the man inside. Well, thanks, Neil. Jenny. Yes? No. Earlier I said you could call me Jenny. I mean, originally it was just a slip of the tongue, but as I didn't acknowledge it at the time, I thought I'd just better play along and pretend my name was Jenny too. Otherwise you might have thought I was weird. I'm going to hand us back to the studio now, Neil. Any last words? What are you going to do to me? No, we're just finishing up the interview, Neil. Jenny... Mm. Mr Armstrong. Dad? And you can buy Neil's latest album online now, featuring the bonus tracks Space, You Took My Breath Away, and One Small Step for Man, One Giant Leap for a Much Smaller Man.